smart playlist, and this is different from the normal playlist. It's very awesome. Yeah, cl click on new smart playlist or control shift, control alt n, control alt n, and it will show up this thing. Or click on file and new smart playlist, and you gotta match these rules. And make sure you keep this check. You can limit to 25 songs only or stuff. Items. All sorts of stuff. And you can go like the artist must contain, name must contain. Has artwork. All my has artwork. This number. Date. Your track number. Now let me do the track number and the person is. Is greater than one. Let's see what I get. Maybe, and you can make it like that. And to um change the name, double click it, or it sometimes it doesn't work. But try to, and and. Sample and to change it, the rules click on edit smart playlist. And let me just change the number to now. Let's make it 10. Oh, let me just make it that is. Five. Does five sound good, Jake? Jake! Ow! Sorry. Is five a good number? Jake is a five a good number. Okay, and change it and and all my songs that um, is track number number five. Maybe five and six. You hurt me. Okay. And oh, let me change it to. Look, I call. Beep beep. Look, it calls. Let me just make, and you can change oh. it to that name. Oh. No, let me just um oh, contains oh. E and D. Oh. Okay, that's the five of how we'll see what this one gives me. Really? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I can't I can't I can't buy bang bang my 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 Is no I can't buy my Okay and have you a kind have you Oh, now this is um time. Like, say if you have. I want to play jump star, jump star, jump star. In range of. Okay, this is going to be um. Let me put it through three minutes. Thirty minutes now. Um, three minutes through five minutes. Now let's, let's see what I get. These are have a lot of songs in this playlist. And if you get a new song that's contained in the in this little rule, it gets into your uh, live update. If you delete one, right click and delete or duplicate or bring to this. And let me just do a sample and it gives you these nice sample ones like classic music. Music videos, my top rated, recently added, recently played, and re and top 25 most played. If you have a phone like me, you will need to get software that works with this. Because if you want music in your phone and have a playlist, it's pretty cool. Well, let's just go and get into the in this category in the stuff. Now 
I'm going to choose um, one of my playlists. Like, and to burn one, click on burn this. And if your computer can't burn a CD, you gotta find one that can get options on it. And I keep keep it like this and click on burn. But I don't want to burn this playlist. Maybe I want to burn my. Okay. All these short these sh oh. I gotta change something. And if you want to change the song, some stuff on the song. Um, if there's only one song, you um, right click and click get info. Then for every individual song, it looks like these tabs. And artwork, you can make the album color or stuff. But there's multiple songs, click on get info, and boom. And you can change one thing on here. You can change this thing and it goes to reply to all the stuff. Let me just, and if I click OK, it changes it all. And now, now it's processing. Now in 2009, um, now, ta-da, it's now not in 2010 songs. Cool. So, now let me rearrange this. Good. So to burn the disc, click on. Now today I'm now I'm really going to burn a disc, and click on burn disc. Remember, you have to have a computer that can burn a disc. And I don't know how you can tell if you can tell your computer can. And um, in order to watch this video, I'm gonna put all this stuff in my in my in my website in the description maybe. And you need to know how to get you have flash. It's important. And I search flash player. Yeah, sorry, it's just one of my cool programs I have. Now HP C D V D R audio this gap between songs. That's good. Good, good, good. Now click on burn. And soon you're going to have your own disc. And it works on any CD player machine. Now, see that little icon there? That means it's going to burn. And see this is the process. It's say writing, make it shine, or adjusts, or whatever song first. And I think I may know how to check. I go in and uh, click, right click on my computer properties to see if they say my computer can. Just wondering. My mouse was flashing just like last time in the earlier video, in the early part one. And I use this feature called Snap. Processor. I gotta tell. And my computer is a compact computer. HP owns it. Your Windows experience yes, needs to be refresh. Wonder what that does. Okay, let me just close it. 35 seconds we made of this. 13.5 minutes of this. Pretty cool how you can make this a special computer, and I'm using a laptop. And so you have maybe desktops, laptops, or whatever you have. And if you click on this button, it shows you an album cover bigger. And click on albums, and that's it. This is my door touching, it tells me if something's bigger than you said. It's done, and my 
and if you put this in, it will go like on drives and like this. Cool. And we'll say songs one, two, three, four, five, and it will probably ask you if you want to import it. And when you see the import settings, pretty good. Settings iTunes Plus Plus, and if we're going to eject the CD, and if. You